Welcome to IK Garlic Store, where we sell all kinds of kitchen accessories, home appliances, gas accessories, and electronics of all kinds. At Interval, we we'll try to teach customers how to use some of the wonderful items they get from us, so that when they get it, it will end up lasting for them. So today here, I will be teaching you the difference between the meter regulator, which you use for your gas cylinder, and the non-meter regulator. Now, a couple of times, each time customers come to buy, many of them don't know the difference between this regulator and this one. They are both the same regulator, but they are different. The major difference they have is that this one does not have gauge. Why this one have gauge? Now, for some people that want to sell out this regulator fast, they will tell you, you can use it to know when your gas is full. Yes, you can use it to know when your gas is full, but when you say full, it will look like you're using it to uh, know when they fill your gas very well. I won't advise you to use this to test and know when your gas is full very well. But what I will tell you that this thing helps you to know, this meter regulator helps you to know when your gas is finishing. That's the essence of this gauge. Now, how this gauge works, it works with pressure. An example I will give to you is when you fill up a gallon of water and you're trying to turn the gallon of water out, you will notice that when the water in that gallon is reducing, the force at which the water is coming out will be reducing. That force is also called pressure. You can still replace it at the same pressure. Now, the same thing with gas. When you fill your 12.5 kg cylinder of gas, the force at which the gas will be coming out when you have installed this regulator on it will be high. When the gas is coming out, the force at which it's coming out will be very high. Now, now as the force is very high, this, you see, when you look here, you see a number. One, two, three, four, Okay, it's not how they don't have three there. Two, four, five, uh, two, four, six, and eight. Now, based on the force, or based on how feel, or based on the kind of gas, this control can be at eight. It can be at six. It can be at four. Even when your gas is full, it all depends on the kind of gas. Because there are some gas you buy, the pressure of the gas will be high, and there are some gas you buy, the pressure of the gas will be a little bit low. So depending if it's a gas, when the pressure, the, the kind of gas you bought, the pressure is very high. You see it, you might see it at 8. Now, as that gas is full, when the gas is finishing, as the gas is finishing, it's going down. As you're using it to cook, do other things you're doing in your kitchen. As the gas is going down, this arrow here, if it's at 8, it will be returning back. It will be coming down. Because the force at which the gas is coming out is no longer the same force when you bought your gas. So, as the thing is going, as gradually, gradually, when it gets to this um, red point, when it's getting, let me say when it's at 2, and it's a weekend, and maybe in your area, they don't sell gas during weekend, maybe during uh, Sundays. It's, it's giving you a signal that your gas is almost finished, then you can go and top up. But if you have two cylinders, I don't think you need this. This is majorly for those that just have just a single cylinder, and their gas can finish emergency without them knowing. So this will help you. You won't have emergency cases where you're cooking and your gas is just finished. So with this meter regulator, it will help you to know when your gas is finishing. Not to help you to know that your gas is completely full to 12.5, no. But it will help you to know when your gas is finishing. That's the advantage of this meter regulator over this one. That's all for today. See you next Friday.